hostel right now, and I'm going to do some fruit reviews that, uh, I'm going to keep it kind of quick. I just, like, I've been finding a lot here, and I don't have much time to review it, because I just have, like, such a busy schedule, but I want to, um, at least do what I can, just mind the noise in the background, mind the fact that this is not going to be, like, a whole lot of information, mind all of that, because these are pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> just bear with me. But this one is, uh, called a camichel, or camichelli, I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, but it is uh, a very interesting one. It's got a lot of really interesting names. It, uh, you see it kind of like looks like a tamarind pod a little bit. It actually has the name of Manila tamarind, even though it's not related to tamarind. It also has um, monkey pod is another name for it. Um, monkey earrings. Devil's Necklace, and uh, Black Bead, and Madras Thorn. It's uh, grown throughout Southeast Asia and India, but it's not, um, it's not really sold commercially. People don't like really like, uh, like farm this or anything. It's just something that is picked wild and people will sell it like on the side of the road. So if they have it like growing in their in their backyard, they'll go like foraging for it and then people will send it, sell it like on the street side. I actually found this as like a little, um, uh, an old lady was selling this right by a ferry terminal here. Kind of like in the middle of nowhere. And I was just like about to hop on the ferry and she was selling this as like a little snack for the, for the ride. Um, so it's, so this seems pretty interesting. The way you can tell that it's ripe is you want it to be split open like this. If you have it where the seeds haven't quite opened yet, uh, you don't want that. These are all completely ripe, so I don't have an unripe one to show you. But uh, if you don't see like the white peeking out of it, then you don't eat it. Uh, I've heard that the, when it turns red, the red ones have more flavor than ones that are like more white, like that one. We'll see if that's true. I'm gonna start with a um, one of these red ones. You can see there's a little seed in there. You don't want to eat that seed. You either can pick it out, which is kind of a pain to do, or you can spit it out as you're eating it. But you don't want to eat them, and they are uh, they're relatively soft. So if you bite into one of these, you can you can be biting into one of these seeds, which I'm not sure. Why they're not edible, they might be poisonous or something, I don't know, but uh, you just gotta be careful when you eat it. Uh, the lady that sold me these pots actually was selling them already picked with like the seeds removed too, so she like spent the time doing that and um, you know, was, was selling them like that so you don't have to like even like bother. But I wanted to see what the pots were like, so I, I bought them with everything intact. Alright, so let's try it. Actually, it doesn't have like a lot of flavor. It's like slightly sweet. Um, it actually tastes a lot like uh, like a green jujube or like a Chinese date. It doesn't have like a lot of flavor. Uh, looking at like the the red tinge to it, you might think it might taste like a berry or something. It doesn't. Um, so like the flavor is kind of like not super interesting. Here, here's one that's got like a little more white to it. Yeah, a little less flavor. Still a little bit sweet. Just doesn't really taste like much. It tastes kind of like, I said, like a green jujube or like a regular jujube. Um, which, if you don't know what that's like, it's kind of like an apple. A little bit like an apple, just without the apple flavor. <laughs> so it's kind of like a more bland apple. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's like okay, right? This is like, it's not like really like a flavor explosion or anything, but it's like, it's satisfying to eat it. The texture is nice, so I can see how this would be like a good snack to have like while you're like on a, on a boat or on a train or something, just kind of like something to kind of like nibble on. It's got like a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. What's most interesting I think is not the flavor, but the texture. The texture is like, it almost tastes like, it's like really like 
I don't know, like, what you would call that. It's, like, dry. It's not juicy, like, a, at all, but it's also very firm and, like, rubbery. A little bit, like, eating, like, a, like a wad of, these are, like, really, like, tightly wadded up pieces of paper or something. But also kind of, like, waxy. Um, I don't know too much about it. I do know that it does have, like, a lot of protein in it. It's, like, 30% of it is protein. So, for me, as a vegetarian here, and I can't eat, like, anything in Thailand, because, like, most places, like, morning, noon, and night, people just eat, like, meat. Uh, this is probably, like, a handy thing for me to have, because I'm gonna be, like, protein deficient if I don't have, like, a little bit more protein. So I'm gonna, like, eat these, eat, like, a whole bunch of these if I can. It's, it's pretty good. Um, it's a nice thing to eat. It's not bad at all. Um, so if you come across this, you know, check it out. That's, uh, all I have to say about it. Thanks.